Hi, this is Barry J. McDonald, and I'd like to welcome you to today's blog post over at writecom.com. And today we had a look at how to get book reviews on Amazon. So as you probably know, if you're selling your books on Amazon's platform, you need to abide by their rules or you will find yourself and your boots um, quickly taken off their system. So because of that, we're going to have a look at legal ways of getting book reviews. So I put together five ways you can get more reviews for your books on Amazon. Now, one of the ways is firstly is to ask your readers. You know, if you haven't been putting a link at the back matter of your book for your reader to click on as soon as they finish the book, asking for a review, um, you really need your head examined because it's one of the best ways you can get um, reviews. But you also you need to um, look at it from the reader's perspective. You know, why should they actually leave the book that they're on at the moment and go to your website or click on a link or go to the books page on the Amazon page and leave a review. So you need to look at it from their perspective. What can you do to make them leave that book to go and do a review for you? So if you can kind of build a case of why they should actually take their time to do that, you're going to have better success. But some of the things you could do is maybe to set up maybe um, a page on a website or a blog or something that you have and offer a free gift so at the end of the book rather than actually coming straight out and asking for a book review just ask the person whether they be interested in a free gift and you'll probably find the majority of people will actually click just to see what the gift is so as soon as you have them over there um of course you would give the, the gift freely but you could have a link on that page asking if they would be interested in leaving a book review while they were there and in some cases you might actually find that people will actually, um, because you've given something free, they feel obliged maybe to give something back and they will probably actually do give a review on that page. But even if they don't, if you set up a fix, um, a Facebook pixel on that page, you can actually use that person's visit then later on then maybe for retargeting ads where you can ask them in those Facebook ads if they would be willing to give you a book review. Or you can use that person again then in your reader's um, group so when you set up um, an audience for another Facebook campaign maybe with your next book coming out you can target that person along with everybody else who has read your book and you know get them to hopefully buy your next book so even though you don't might get them to leave a review right there and then it is helpful just to have a page set up with a free gift and the Facebook pixel on it so you can do those things in the future and then also as well too even if you are setting up maybe a link at the back of your book or on your website rather than linking, linking straight to the directly to the book page what you can do is you can click on the little um, title which says write a review and click there and use that link so when the person actually clicks they go straight to the little text box that they have to fill in to put in a review rather than actually expecting them to go to the book page and then find the review link to click and then do the review so the easier you make it for them the better so another thing then too is as you said as I've said, like offering a free gift. Another thing then is offering your books for free. Now, if you're signed up to the Amazon KDP system, you'll have a few days to give your books away free. So in that case, then the more people you actually get your books in front of, the more chances you're going to have of getting book reviews back. So once you have your book promotion set up, just make sure that you tell all your social media followers, you know, that you target free Kindle uh, book pages on the day that your book is free. So they all are aware that it's free and use the hashtags, hashtag free book, hashtag free Kindle book and hashtag free to get more attention on social media and Twitter and Facebook and places like that. And then you can also do, you can also hire some people then to help you out with your free promotion days. There's a few gigs you can find on Fiverr.com. One that I highly recommend is one by B Knights. That's B K N I G H T S. And if you go and find, search for them on um, Fiverr, you'll find that they actually they have a book promotion service that you can use for whenever your book is on free promotion. Now another way then you can build and get more readers or sorry more book reviews on your Amazon um, book listing is to be build an email list. As well as asking people at the back of your book um, if they'd be interested in leaving a book review, another important thing you should be doing is trying to get people to sign up onto an email list. And in this way you can um, email them at, at future points, maybe for uh, whenever your next book is coming out, just to make them be aware of it, just to build a relationship with them, but also to ask them for um, book reviews. Now even a large email address, or a email list, um, you don't actually need one even if you had known only had uh, an email list with 10 readers on it you know a quick email out of those 10 readers could bring you in 10 
you know reviews in the next couple of days so don't be uh, feeling that you need to have a huge email list to make a difference you know even a small email list with 10 20 people on it who are fans of yours and like your books can guarantee you uh, more book reviews and then another thing you can do then too as well is to ask other book reviewers you know depending on the niche you're in go in and have a look at other books that are in your niche and find out the people that are leaving reviews now when you're looking for people that are leaving reviews don't go for the normal kind of joe soap or you know josephine soap who are just the average person but look for people who are kind of hall of fame reviewers or top 10 reviewers or people that Amazon uh, recognize as good reviewers and have given them um, titles like that. You can usually find that um, underneath their name, Amazon will put these small things like Hall of Fame reviewer and top 10 reviewer and stuff like that. So these are the people that Amazon thinks are people that uh, customers should follow and you know go on their advice. So if you can contact them, sometimes if you click on the name, they might actually have uh, maybe an email address or they might have uh, a page on the Amazon platform where you can contact them and then simply just ask them if they'd be willing to you know do a review for your book and send them uh, send them a copy of it and ask them if they would have the time to do it now in most cases a lot of these people are hit regularly looking for uh, reviews from other people so don't be disappointed if they don't get back to you or if they turn you down because at the end of the day they only have so much time to do and a lot of these people are doing this probably freely and it's probably um something that does eat in the time so just be aware that not everybody is going to return you know get back to you or review your book but it is something that you could try out now finally another thing you do then too is to buy book reviews now even though book reviews and buying them are a no-no at amazon and it can get you into trouble there are some websites that can uh, offer packages where you can buy them to get uh, book reviews now the way these websites look at it is that you're actually paying that person for their time for sitting down and reading your book which i can understand all right but when you consider that some of these websites charge between 104 and 209 dollars and then other ones then packages can go from maybe 340 dollars up to 790 dollars for websites like uh, choosyworm.com and marketexposure.com you know they you have to be aware that you're going to have to pay heavily to get these book reviews and even at that you aren't actually guaranteed that the person maybe can like your book is maybe the right person to target for your book and after all that cost you might not actually be happy with the reviews that you get back so just be aware that even though this is one of the tips that you could use i would recommend use any of the four previous ones before actually going down this line in the case of having a small email list you know for the price of sending out a free email out to 10 readers you're probably going to get maybe four or five reviews which will be far far cheaper than going for one of these more expensive packages now if you're starting off and you're not sure how you can actually to get more book reviews or build a book reviewer list and maybe you're just starting off from scratch with your first book i highly recommend you come over to bookreviewsmadeeasy.com where i have set up an easy to follow uh, video course where i can show you how i used um, a particular website to build a list of reviewers to get reviews and i actually got these people on an email list so it actually could target them again with future books so if you'd like to know more about how to build um, a book reviewer list i highly recommend you come over to bookreviewsmadeeasy.com so that has been today's blog post that is how easy it is to get uh, more books more book reviews on your amazon page so my name has been barry j mcdonald this has been today's blog post over at rightcom.com and if you'd like to know more about me or you'd like to pick up our my free report on how to sell more books i highly recommend you come over to rightcom.com that's w-r-i-t-e-c-o-m-e.com take care bye bye